Welcome back to Trigger Happy Autos. Today we're going to do a demonstration on some products from a company called Wax Gurus. Wax Gurus specialise in protection products and today we're going to be testing the Cerama Pace Wax. The Cerama Wax is $14.99 and as you can see it comes in a nice presentation box with a soft foam applicator and the 50ml Pace Wax. Next up we've got the Hydro Glass Sealant. So it's a hydrophobic coating for glass, which could also be layered on top of a ceramic coating. So looking forward to giving this a shot and seeing what it's all about. And for removal, we're gonna use the Guru cloth, which is a 500 GSM cloth. So a nice and plush. So we'll get on to the detail. I'm gonna use a mixture of different products to get us to the end of the detail where we can use the Wax Gurus products. First up, the pre-wash, and I've used Auto Bright's Decon Shampoo, diluted at 50 to one in this trigger sprayer. So I'm gonna run round, layer this on, and then I'm gonna put a pH neutral snow foam over the top, which is gonna be the Shimmer Products snow foam. And then I'm going to put fallout remover onto the wheels, lay the snow foam on, and then I'm going to tackle the wheels while the snow foam dwells. As we can see, the fallout remover is doing its thing. It's not normally my normal process, but I thought I'd just give it a try. So we're going to use the War Wars wheel cleaner, the War Wars APC for the tyre, using a mixture of brushes uh, and some new wheel woolies to get into the backs of the barrels. And now a quick rinse down. So we're going to use the two bucket method. I've got the Auto Bright Decon Shampoo in one, clean water in the other. So we'll fill the buckets up and we'll press on with it.
As you can see, there's no water behaviour at all on this bonnet after it's been washed. So we're going to whip the paintwork with the squid ink fallout remover and then a quick layer over through the foam cannon of the decon shampoo just so it doesn't dry although it's not warm today and then we'll get it all rinsed off and move on. Prior to using the Wax Guru's Hydro-X glass sealant, we're going to use the Mitchell & King Flawless Glass Polish just to make sure the glass is ready for the coating. So now for the main event, the Hydro X glass sealant. Now, application was just a case of four or five spritzes onto a clean microfiber cloth, and then just work it in on straight lines, up and down, side to side on the glass. Let it haze and then remove. It hazed really quickly and it was super easy to apply and removal was a dream as well. It does say to leave it an hour before getting the glass wet, which is exactly what I did. And I think you'll agree with me that the results are exceptional. Wax gurus don't give any longevity claims, but they do say it can be used as a maintenance product just to keep top of it up to make sure that there's good coverage on the glass. So now we're on to preparation of the paint before we apply the Cerama Wax and we're going to be using the Mitchell & King Pure Pre-Wax Cleanser. So this has got light abrasives in it and leaves a lovely slick finish. Nice and clean paintwork ready to apply a wax onto. So we just apply some onto the microfiber applicator, work it in straight lines up and down the paint and then quickly remove it which is always a dream and then the paint is ready for the wax.
Now it's time for the main event, which is the Cerama Wax. It's a really soft wax in the pot, so a gentle half turn in the pot will give you enough wax to get the full bonnet done. Using the supplied applicator, we're just going to dot the wax across the panel and then we'll work it up and down in straight lines. And then as we're going, we'll just keep picking up more wax just to ensure we get a nice even coverage. As I say, it's a really soft wax and it spreads like a dream and I'm getting some kind of citrusy scent from it which is really nice and not overpowering. I've let the wax cure for about 10 minutes, just done the finger swipe test to make sure it's ready to come off. Then we're gonna use a nice soft buffing towel just to get the wax to come off. Now, I probably used a little bit more than I should have done, so it was a little tricky to come off, but I have found that ceramic waxes do have this property to them. Uh, it wasn't really any trouble, and the finish it left was incredible. And we'll just do a quick water test just to see the hydrophobics of it. I know some say that you should leave it 24 hours to cure before you do it, but for the purposes of the video, I just wanted to show you how good it was at displacing the water from the panel. I'm really impressed with the product from Wax Gurus, and I'm also really impressed with them as a company. The customer service you get from Josh at Wax Guru is, is absolutely exceptional. He's a great guy and deserves every order that he gets. So please guys, if you enjoyed the video, pop onto the website and grab yourself something to try. And I know you'll be impressed with what you receive. <laughs>